Okay. Well, a couple of my viewers want to know how to solder the through holes on the PDB or, you know, just through holes in general, how I do them. But uh, I, this is all the 12 I got left here. Then I got a little 13 here. So let's do it. I'm going to turn on my soldering iron. And again, I'm not using the tight tip or the little chisel tip. I'm using the big chisel tip right there. Okay. And then I'm not going to use this real little solder. I'm going to use the big solder, right? There it is. Then I'm going to pick this up off the ground a little bit. So let's strip the wire. I like to strip it a little long like that. You got me? See, that one's a little too long, but that's good. Let's do these while we're at it. These you don't have to do as long because there's less wire and it fits in the hole nicer. However, 12 does too. So we're going to spin these all up. All right? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Right? Okay, then we're going to tin these up. All right. I'm going to tin these up too. These are a little bigger, take a little more time to get hot. Right? This one's a little too long. But that'll be all right. All right, let's check them out. They look pretty good. All right, now we're going to snip them. Now, these don't need to be snipped that much because they fit in the hole real nice and easy. See that? What I do like to do is kind of smush them down a little bit. And these are the ones I'm going to be using. So, um, yeah, we'll just leave them like they are. Now these just fit through the hole, right? Well, you can probably fit a 10 in there. Same thing, just like that, right? So I'm going to snip off the top on this one as if I was going to do it, right? Just like that, see? And then slip it through. Way. 
because when you heat it up, it's going to lay down. Right? So I put it there like that with something really heavy on it. Right? I'm not sure I can use this number 12. This is the same thing. You put it through the hole. This one won't fit. Oh, it did fit. And you get it where you like it. You look at it from the top like that and then you snip off that the way you want it. Bada bing, right? Now there's just enough of your stuff hanging through there. You got me? See that? But I don't have enough number 12 so we're gonna go with 13. And that would be these two. And it's going to be a little loose in the hole. Right? Just like that. You got me? And then we're going to put something heavy on it. Let's see what we have. Alright, and we're going to pop them on. We got positive polarity correct. Here we go. Now watch this. Again, I'm going to tin up, put a little on there, and get her going. This is going to take a lot of solder. Okay. Look at that. You see that? Make sure you get it everywhere. Bada bing. That's how you do it. See? That's how you do it. The through hole, look at that. See on the back side there? Really nice. You're going to be yanking on these things. Um, make sure you put enough on there. Same with the uh, pads here. Um, but that's how you do the through hole for your XT60. Should we do the XT60? Let's assume this is going on. What is this going to go on? I don't know, but I'm going to leave a little just in case it goes inside cockpit or something. All right. So we're going to do the same to this end. Let's see. And it does that. I like that. Okay. Back to our strippers. These you don't have to strip as much. Just like 3 sixteenths. You know, because it's going to go in the XT60 connector. That one could have used a little more. go with it. So we're going to tin these up. Twist and tin.
right, those are tinned up. Now we gotta tin up the X260 connector. Whoa. Where's my uh, helping hands? So here's my helping hands. We're gonna stretch this out. We're gonna take the connector. Here's the connector. We're gonna find the female connector and we're gonna plug it in together so it creates a little cooling going on and we're gonna hook this into my thing here and tin up the uh, connector itself. side just gotta get that connector a little hot you'll see it once it releases from the iron there it is right now need to cut some heat shrink and slide it on here one two all right we're gonna slide that on here one two all the way down let's trim this one a little bit that down we got the positive facing up right here and all ready to go so I'm gonna clean my tip off and load it up a little bit and let's see what we can do Positive. I got the bubble on that side. I'm going to set it right on there. Let it do its thing. There it is. Flip it over. I'm going to slide this up while it's warm. I could get it to slide in there. Nope. It still needs a little heat. All right, so we're going to go to the next one. Again, same thing. Let's set it up so when I can push down a little bit, it doesn't sink on me. Okay, here we go. Can you see it? Right there in the top corner. All right. See that? Just a little on there. That side facing down. This side here. I'm going to lay this on my wire. And it's in turn going to get everything hot. And there it is. I just don't want the heat from the joint to go up and make my heat shrink react. You hear me? So it's like I said, sometimes you can go up here with this. There it is. See how that slid right in there? It's because the heat of the joint slowly made it. And you can slide it up in there about an eighth inch. 
So that's it. That is it. Okay, that's how I do it. And you can yank on it. I usually snap this whole thing off. I used to put these on that come with the PDB, right? But these are worse. I would just break these off. And then they go up or down. And I'd put them down because I'd have my battery down and it would just snap this whole thing off. So I like this better. That's how I'm going to keep doing it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, dig it.